Hi guys, Wardrums here, and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the race event Hit Parade. Right at the start, it's very tempting to go on the beams above, but this is actually not the fastest path. Instead, aim for one of these gaps between the poles. When you make it to the ledge, do a small twirl to slow your character down, and then try to land slightly sideways on the slime ramp. At the bottom of the ramp, do a jump dive, as you're almost guaranteed to fall over otherwise. The fastest way to get past the revolving doors is actually by going to the sides. This is, however, a very risky strategy even if you are far ahead, as if you're not perfect enough in your execution, you can easily get blocked. Instead, just try and push the revolving doors and get moving, while always staying away from the middle yellow blocks, as they can easily knock you around. When you make it to the middle wall, it can sometimes be beneficial to go to the sides if there's too many people in the middle, although in this case, it was definitely not worth it. Instead of the revolving doors, you can also get this spinner variation, which is very straightforward if you're in the lead due to the slime ramp trick. However, if you're not, it gets very chaotic. For the third section of the map, you can have three variations. Thick bonkers, which can easily be avoided by running to the side, the perpendicular swinging pendulums, which require a little bit more timing, and the parallel swinging pendulums, which can easily be avoided by running in between them. On this variation, if you have the nerves, or you feel like you're far behind, you can do a cool trick where you get hit by the last pendulum and hopefully get launched all the way into the goal. For the fourth and final section, there are two variations. Either you can get the hammers, or you can get the sliding donut stacks. Personally, I prefer the hammers as I find them easier. When encountering the hammers, make sure to focus on which way the hammers are spinning, as you can easily get a small speed boost if you go the same way as they are going, and not against them. For the donut stacks, you want to try and look a bit ahead, and notice the speed of each stack as they move across the field. If you think you're gonna hit a stack, try to sidestep just a little bit, as if you do too much, you will lose a lot of speed. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand or you'd like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums and you have been you and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life. Bye.